Uh, hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18th of the June Lead Code Daily Challenge. Um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the dis join the Discord, uh, come hang out. Uh, yeah, let's go. H index 2. Given an array of citations sorted in ascending order, each citation is a non negative integer, of a researcher, write a function to compute the research H index. According to the definition of H index on Wikipedia, a scientist has index H. If each of his or her n papers have at least h citations each, and the other n minus h papers have no more than h citations each. Okay. Okay. That I, that was very wordy. What does that mean? Uh, okay. So given this array, it means that the research have five papers, zero, one, three, five, six citations. Um, Three papers with at least citations, okay. So four papers of at least two, two papers at least four. Uh, okay. Uh, there's several, take the max. Uh, and now, oh, this is guaranteed to be in ascending order. Can I solve it in log n time? Yeah. I mean, I probably was thinking that, well, I guess I needed to know that this is in a sort, uh, in sorted order, but Okay, can I solve it in log n time? I guess so. Hmm. I think my question is, is this always... Um, is there or like, is it always possible to have an answer? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just based off the index, right? So basically, if the index, and this is one based, say, so let's say we have this input. Uh, and then we have like, you know, map it to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, here, the third index means that, or maybe maybe a better way to do it is go it backwards, actually. Um, where this three means that, this three means that um, the three papers including itself, that's greater than this number, and it's three. And then you just take the, um, yes, the, in this case it matches, but let's, let's play around with a number where it doesn't match. Let's say this is four. What is the H number? Well, the H number is still three, because there's three number bigger than it, uh, three papers with citations bigger than it, and, and there's three papers. Okay. Um, and then basically you're given this array and then you're trying to find the point where they match slash uh, match slash uh, equal to each other um, hmm. I mean right now I'm, I, I think I'm just trying to understand the problem a little bit better uh, it seems like there's, it feels like there's a binary search, but I'm just not understanding the problem necessarily. Like, for example, well, if this is one, and I guess this is one as well, uh, what does this mean, right? Well, one means there's four papers, oops, four papers ahead of it. There are four papers. So the, the, what is it? Uh, one paper have at least one citation, and the other ones are all less than it. So that's not true. So that then we have to go to the right. Five, um, five papers now because there's only two papers, right? So then it goes back to the left, and again it is, it sends a two because. Two is the number in which, so we're trying to find, okay, now I think I get it. The answer is two because two is the number in which the two papers and then everything be after that is, um, after that is less than two. Uh, okay. So I think I have a recur, uh, uh, a divide and conquer recurrence, which allow us to do a binary search. Um, basically, 
Okay, I actually expected it to be on this side, but if okay, so I think my my recurrence is that if, first you look at the middle. If this number is bigger than this number, then we want to move to the right, uh, and then otherwise we. For example, over here, we want to move to the left. But in but includes itself. Okay. Yeah, okay. So then from that we could just do a binary search. That was kind of a <laughs> if you're watching it live. Uh, or if you're watching it at home, uh, do know that I'm taping this live, so uh, so you kind of get to see my thought process a little bit. Um, I mean, I got the feeling that it was binary search to begin with, uh, but even with that feeling, you still have to kind of figure out how to write the binary search and what the uh, relationship is. And I think I did okay here. Um, and you don't really need to... And this number, of course, is implicit based on uh, the number of citations minus uh, the index. So, so let's just set this up. Oops, citations. And now we can just do a binary search from head is equal to zero, tail is equal to n, and then while head is greater than tail. Uh, and in this case, note that because we set up this way, uh, the tail is not inclusive, uh, while the head is inclusive. Um, so now mid is equal to head head plus tail divided by two, um, and then now let's look at mid. So we're looking at mid. Also, if they equal, then that means we're done. Um, so let's just have um, if so mid is the index. So then we, now we have to do the numbers that are bigger than or. Um, yeah, the number we have to get the second number, which is just n minus the index. So in this case, we'll just create an, um, another variable. That means you know number bigger, maybe. Is equal to n minus mid. Uh, right? Is it? Yeah, because five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Uh, and then here we check if the number number of bigger num the number of bigger numbers um is so this number if it's less than the the citation number this is less than or equal to the citation number of the middle number, um, then, well, if they equal, we could just return it, but it shouldn't matter. We, we could, uh, yeah, then we want to keep, because this, that means that this is uh, at the end, so we want the tail is equal to uh, mid plus one. To keep it inclusive, or um, because mid is still uh, good, right? Else, head is if it's bigger, then we want to always move to the right. So then we move head to mid. Hmm. Is this right? Because th this will probably never terminate, right? Because um, this doesn't converge. Um, so let's let's double let's double check what I'm doing. If let's say we look at this one, then we definitely want to include include this, but we want to move. Hmm. So maybe we need to redefine how. Uh, what we want, which is that we want 
we should at the end of this we want we should find the first number where this is or first oh, first index where this is not true uh, so then we could just do a plus one to get to the right of that um, okay and then now we have that means that we have to start at negative one because we want to be able to return the first index um, is that true hmm Yeah, I think this is okay. And then now, if this is uh, less than, then now because we don't want to include it, then we set tail is equal to mid. Uh, otherwise, head, if this is bigger than, wait, I think this is just wrong. This should have been plus one anyway. Um, because if, if we we're here, we know that, uh, maybe I'm a little shaky, it's a little bit late. We know that this is not good, so we have to go to the right, right? So this will always do the right, so then we do mid plus one. Um, but now this gives us, oh wait, no, in this case, we still want to include it. Now let's, uh, I think I'm changing my uh, definitions a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the first one. So I think this is okay now uh, because this should converge, but also head is, now if we have something like this, we want to go to the right, so we move head to this plus one. Um, okay, so I think this is good. And then now we uh, we turn, at the end, so at the end, head is the index we want, but this that's not the answer, right? Head is just the, uh, index of the value that we want, but we have to kind of take it, we have to take the min of uh, these two numbers, and the min of these two numbers, because of the way we define, we want the bottom number to be smaller than the top number, or they equal, but that means that we want this number. So we now want to return n minus head, because that's the same formula as here. Uh, okay, I think maybe that's good. Let's give it a try. Uh, and then let's try a few more, like we were playing around with this, and also something like this. So this we expect it to be 2, as we said, because this should be 2, uh, and this is still 3. Okay, um, I think the other things to end, play around with is just empty arrays, uh, one element, maybe two elements, uh, and then kind of give it go. Uh, okay, so let's hmm, okay, let's give give it a submission. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this is binary search, so the complexity is going to be log n, where n is the number of citations. Uh, right here, we only use all one extra space, so yeah, so it's all one. Um, this is a little bit, I mean, I, I will admit that this video was a little bit long. Um, I hope that my DOI process was clear, uh, and I think this one was a little bit tricky to me. Uh, I don't know if you have, maybe it's easier to you and you know, if you have a better solution or better way to think about a problem, leave in the comments below. Definitely would appreciate it. Um, this is, other, other than the really, I think I had just trouble understanding this line per se, but after I was, um, and if you are interviewing, you would be able to play, you know, have a whiteboard and also you can communicate with your interviewer and able to kind of talk about um, you know, like what assumptions that you have and if it was wrong, then, you know, you could get back to it, right? Where for me here, um, yeah, I think I was just a little bit unclear about um, the conditions. That's why it took me so long. But, you know, don't, don't despair if you are in that situation. Just go through it one by one and make sure that you really understand the constraints, right? In a binary search, and that is one of my weak points, um, that's why I try to articulate it as much as possible, uh, which is where I declare the zero and the, a, zero and the n for head and tail, uh, where n I said ex explicitly that it is exclusive. That means that it doesn't include tail. Uh, it allowed me to go, okay, head will never be tail, so this is okay, because when head is equal to tail, then that means that the answer is in head. Um, and, and here, 
we had to be really exp uh, really think about what is going on. Uh, well, this here just allow us to create the last number, which let the index the number bigger index allow us to count number bigger the numbers that are bigger based on this index because it's sorted. Um, so based on this, we had to be really precise and really think about what happens when they equal. What happens when this is smaller? What should it return? If it's higher, what should it or like which sub problem should it go to? Uh, and and it's very easy to get off by one with like the moving the heads and the tails, and that's why keeping um, clear definition of what which one is head or oh, sorry what is inclusive and what is exclusive uh, helps because head we know that is inclusive, and if it is for example if it's here if we combine the four and the one we know that this is not good, so we have to go to the right. So and the right of this does not include this, and that's why we have mid plus one because it's inclusive, uh, and we want to exclude this. Uh, conversely, if tail goes to mid because tail is exclusive, so if uh, so if this is good, if we look at oh, I think I'm, I'm yeah. So if you look at say um, this one and this is good, then we know that we want to move tail. Um, to here because, um, hmm. yeah, because it's exclusive. Uh, so I think maybe that's a little bit off because we want that to be in the possible answer, but but that's going to be uh, controlled in the uh, in the head. Um, yeah. Okay. That's all I have for this problem. Uh, definitely binary search comes in handy all the time. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, join the Discord, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.